So Deontay Wilder weighed in at 219 pounds. Luis Ortiz was 236. That's 15 stone 9 for Wilder and 16 stone 12 for Ortiz in English money. Both guys are around their usual fighting weight. Wilder, 4 pounds lighter than he was last time out against Dominic Brazil, but he's been much heavier than this before and also much lighter. So 219 is about right there in the middle for Wilder. And for Ortiz, he's only two pounds lighter than he was last time out against Christian Hammer. Personally, I think the best Ortiz can hope for is to box a cautious, counter-punching fight and hope to win a moral victory by lasting the distance. Because if he goes in there and he gets ambitious, tries to go forward and look to do damage, I think he's going to get clipped again and taken out. But if he does decide to box cautiously and just try to stick to counterpunching and somehow manages to last the distance, even if many people believe that he deserves to get the, the win on their personal scorecard, the judges are never going to give it to him. Let's be real. So other than that, he's got a puncher's chance. And look, he can definitely whack. He managed to hurt Wilder last time out. But Wilder's been in there with him before. He knows all his tricks. He knows what to look out for. And Wilder has good reflexes. I'm confident he'll be able to make it through the fight and avoid getting hit with any kind of crazy haymaker. As far as I'm concerned, it's Deontay Wilder all day in this fight. Ortiz, at 40 years old, yeah, he's still got something left. But he's no Klitschko. He's no Povetkin. Both of those guys were far more proven and far more accomplished at 40 than Luis Ortiz is. Ortiz was really on the Cuban B team in the amateurs. He was never one of the elite Cubans. He was a B team guy. And as a professional, he's done really nothing. He beat Bryant Jennings about four or five years ago. And other than that, his claim to fame was having a little bit of success against Deontay Wilder. But aside from that, there's nothing really to speak of when it comes to Luis Ortiz's professional accomplishments. I think his significance in the heavyweight division has been grossly overblown and overstated by the spinmeisters over there at PBC. The reality is, as I said, the likes of Klitschko and Povetkin were far more dangerous 40-year-olds than Luis Ortiz, or 38-year-olds, as Ortiz was last time he fought Wilder, and as Klitschko was when he fought Fury, and I think Povetkin when he fought AJ. The danger of Ortiz has been grossly overstated. Good fighter, but not that good. Is it possible that he can land a big shot? Will Wilder get complacent? Well, I think the heavyweight division has been put on high alert ever since Anthony Joshua got knocked out by Andy Ruiz. And the likes of Fury and Wilder have looked at that and said, I don't want that to happen to me. And therefore, they've taken the necessary steps to make sure that it doesn't happen to them. In the lead up to AJ Ruiz, I felt as though the conditions were right for an upset to happen. There was a write-up who predicted that AJ would lose in 2019. And I did a video about it at the top of the year. Do you guys remember that? And I said that that writer is probably correct. That AJ, maybe not just AJ, maybe one of the other top three will lose sooner rather than later in a big upset. So when the Jarrell Miller fight got made, I was one of the few people who were saying that Miller's got a real good chance in this fight. And that if I kept saying, if he can take AJ's power... I think he can win this fight or at the very least push AJ very, very close. So when AJ ended up losing to Ruiz, it wasn't a massive shock to me because I was, I kind of felt like something like that was probably going to happen sooner rather than later. With this fight here, Wilder versus Ortiz, would I be shocked? Would it be a bigger upset to me personally? I'm not talking about odds. I'm not talking about public perception. I'm talking about my own personal perception. Would 
Ortiz beating Wilder right now being a bigger upset for my own personal perception than uh, Ruiz beating AJ? Yes, it would. It would be a bigger upset to my own personal perception. Uh, because, as I say, Wilder's already beaten this guy. This guy's not young like Miller or Ruiz. He's old. <laughs> and his ability and uh, dangerousness is grossly overstated as far as I'm concerned. Wilder knows what to look out for. Wilder's got the reflexes. He's got the punching power. He would have learned from the first fight. He's got good instincts. Uh, and on top of all that, he's got the PBC machine behind him. And they don't want Luis Ortiz to walk out of the ring with a green belt. They're going to make far more money if they can have Wilder fight Andy Ruiz in an undisputed fight. Well, it won't be quite undisputed, but you know, They'll try and sell it as undisputed without the WBO strap on the line. They'll make far more money out of Wilder Ruiz than they would make out of Ruiz versus Ortiz. And of course, we wouldn't even get to see Ruiz versus Ortiz anytime soon because there's going to be a rematch clause in the contract. So we would see a third fight between Wilder and Ortiz if Ortiz pulls off this upset. So Wilder may not need the help this time around by way of, you know, doctors interfering or referees helping him out when he's hurt. He might not need that this time. But if somehow he does need it, that help will be there. Either with referee intervention, doctor intervention, funny scorecard, whatever he needs, he'll get it. <laughs> Again, he may not need it, but if he does, he'll get it. So I'm very confident that Deontay Wilder is going to win this fight. I won't be surprised if it's competitive. I won't be surprised even if Wilder ends up in a real, real tough life and death struggle. That won't be a surprise to me, but I just feel like Wilder will be able to get through it and the judges are never going to give Ortiz a decision. <laughs> you know, so it's not like I don't see any kind of competitive fight here. No, I just think whatever Ortiz throws at Wilder, Wilder will be able to survive it and the judges are going to give Wilder the benefit of the doubt, not Ortiz. So that's my take on it, people. Drop your take in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel. It's happening. I'm out.